hi, hello, what is up, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of going to be more of a vlog style video. Now, I'm so excited, but I feel like I'm talking super fast because I know that I'm already running behind. Step one was to tweeze my eyebrows, which I did that and kind of messed up on them, not gonna lie. So they kind of look more like distant cousins or distant relatives rather than sisters today, but it is what it is. And now I need to take a shower and wash my hair because my hair right now is like a greasy, greasy mess and I wanna have nice fresh hair for my date night. So let's get started. <laughs> And now after I have showered, I also brushed my teeth and I also, which I didn't mention earlier, just like quickly shaved my legs and my armpits in the shower really sloppily, honestly, like didn't even use shaving cream on my legs, but we got the job done and I showered in 20 minutes, which kind of is like a record breaking time for me, which I know sounds so silly, but it is what it is. I feel like I need to do merch if I ever like were to create it that says it is what it is. Although I feel like somebody definitely has that merch already. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any YouTuber who has it is what it is on like t-shirts or something. Because if not, I feel like that is so me. But now that I'm out of the shower, and I shaved and I brushed my teeth. I'm just doing some skincare. I feel like I've talked about this before, but I pride myself on my skincare because I feel like honestly moments like today when I feel like I might not have enough time to do makeup, I don't really get as bothered as I used to because I feel like I used to have more problems with my skin than I do now because I take care of it so well. And you know, people call me high maintenance for that, but I always, come back and say, I am going to have hopefully nice skin for a longer period of time. So, you know, rag on my skincare routine, rag on my beauty routine, all you want. I take care of myself and it's what I like to do. So that's really all that matters. Also, I know I mention this in like every single video, but if you hear any noises, I live with my parents and my sister, so it's impossible for the house to be completely quiet at all times. Now I'm just going to go in with some moisturizer, which I didn't really talk about the products that I'm using, just because I think I'm going to do a my all-time skincare favorites video. Lastly is just some chapstick and we are ready to move on to the hair. We're gonna try a transition. Who knows how it'll turn out? But let's give it a go because it's fun. Did I do it? Did I look really ugly and weird while I did it? I don't know. We'll see uh, when I'm editing this. Now I'm just gonna let my hair air dry just for, like for a little little bit while I pick up an outfit and then I'm gonna come back and blow dry my hair. So I just finished blow drying my hair off camera and it was kind of frustrating. I feel like it's still a little bit damp, but I think I was just getting frustrated because I knew that I was kind of in a rush. But this is the outfit of the night. Just some bell bottom flare jeans from American Eagle with some beige colored booties from DSW. And then this super simple gray sweater. And then I also made sure to put all of my jewelry on before doing my makeup. So obviously I have emphasized already that I focus on makeup last now. Typically what I do, especially when I'm running late, 
is I'll like do my hair. I will get dressed, put my jewelry on, and then decide if I have enough time to do some makeup, which I have about 25 minutes. So I'm going to set a 20 minute timer on my watch just to kind of keep myself accountable. Actually, we're gonna do 15 minutes just so I know that I have extra time. And I know the lighting's a little weird. I just tried moving my phone because that's what I'm filming on today. But my mirror, it's gonna kind of give the video some weird lighting, but we need the mirror. So what I like to focus on when I'm doing a quicker makeup routine is my primer. I feel like if my skin is nice and glowy, then the whole thing kind of just comes together. So I'm gonna spray my face with some Smashbox primer water. I like douse my face with this stuff because I just feel like primer water and setting spray kind of just like changes the game. Next, I'm just going to use the Becca First Light Priming Filter Primer, I think is the entire name. And like, I barely have any of this left, so I have to like open it up, like scoop it out, which I'm sorry if putting the tube directly on my face kind of grosses you out, but. So I'm just going to rub that in. And then I'm gonna go in with one more primer, which I don't really use all the time anymore because I feel like the formula just doesn't sit right with Rare Beauty foundation, but I'm not using foundation today. So we can use it because I actually think that it's like a really good primer. And that is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which I'm just going to put in my t-zone now i'm just going to spot conceal with the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 10 fair then i'm also going to get my under eyes and then like the t-zone area and i'm just going to use a morphe flat brush and tap this out also just going to lightly get crevices between my nostrils now i'm just going to fluff some Laura Mercier loose powder underneath my eyes. I'm actually not gonna bring the loose powder on any other portions of my face, just because I am gonna be setting the rest of my face with a face powder. So my face powder is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 130 Buff Beige. This might be a little dark, but it's fine. Just a little bit to bring underneath the chin, down the bridge of the nose. Cupid's bow, and then my forehead, and then I'll put a little bit on the cheeks just for some light coverage. I'm just gonna brush away all that powder. Now I'm going to skip the rest of the face for now and go in with some e.l.f. What is this? Wow brow. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on my mascara off camera, and then I'll be back. So my mascara is done, and now with my bronzer brush, I'm just gonna take like whatever product is on here and just add some color to my face. Take my contour brush, and then again, just whatever is on the brush. I'm gonna brush out my eyebrows just with a clean spoolie. Blush brush, again, whatever is on the brush. Now I'm gonna take the Rogue Techniques a fan brush with the Becca Skin Perfector, which is just my highlight. I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones a little bit, put my cupid's bow down the bridge of my nose, get my eyebrow bone, use my pinky finger to get the inner corner. Now I'm just going to set my face and then add a little bit more mascara. My makeup is done. Obviously, I'm in the car and we're on our way. We're going to Cheesecake Factory tonight. I called it. I knew that I was going to cause us to maybe run a little bit behind. I said earlier in my video, I was like, if you know me, um, I'm always running late because I take forever to get ready. I just got ready with like super simple makeup, even though it really took me like 30 to 40 minutes because my flipping eyelashes got all like clumped up. I don't even know if like you could tell. Anyway, so we're on our way and I'm so excited to eat food. In particular, the multi-grain bread. And the bread has come. Clink me. Think. Tell us what we have here. Cauliflower. So it's Korean cauliflower, I think is what it's called. Hmm. That's good. Tastes like chicken. Yum. So I ended up not vlogging the rest of dinner just because like the lighting was so bad in there. Now we're just going to watch a movie. And I think we settled on Lion King, right? 
So yeah, that's what we're gonna watch. The live one. Yeah, so like the, the newest one. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. This video was actually filmed earlier in January. It is the beginning of February now. I had such a fun time on the date night. I love date nights no matter what it entails. Hope you enjoyed watching it and following me along with getting ready. So if you did like it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really helps me out with like the YouTube algorithm stuff. Basically, the more engagement a video gets, the better it is likely to do, if that makes any sense. You can also press the little red button down below to subscribe to my channel and also press the post notification bell. That way you get notified every single time I upload a new video. I'm super, super excited for this year. I feel like I have so many good ideas. If you want to see those videos, definitely make sure you hit that bell. And I feel like I'm ranting and rambling. So with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.